<laughs> Hello, everyone. Hi, Kristen, we have nine likes and we haven't even started this video. How exciting is that? Thank you for you wonderful nine people that are ahead of the game. And Vivian, <laughs> you were there first on YouTube. Thank you. We'd love to see that. Welcome, welcome. We're so happy to be here today. It's been such a fun morning. How you Have you all been enjoying everybody so far? It's been fantastic, as always. Candy, kicking it off, taking a little nap. <laughs> She's the under best. her desk, <laughs> nonetheless. I'm just wondering if I walk to my door. So it's if three children run in here, <laughs> you know what? You know you didn't. <laughs> it's because it's TGBE weekend, and I haven't gotten them dressed yet. <laughs> There's more important things to take care of than getting dressed on a Saturday, right? right? Like watching Candy, Kate, and Jill, like mm -hmm. three powerhouse jewelry making designers for free at TGBE. That's, that takes total precedence over getting my children dressed. Yeah, I just, I mean, Kate has some gorgeous color combinations with her kit. Um, I know she sold out of her kit, but I feel like they might be doing a new colorway. Um, so keep your eye out for that. And then Jill's project was like so thoughtful and so beautiful. It was really a stunner. I can't wait to go back and watch that one and a little Candy's more closely. big hearts and her mm. big crystal key. I love that key. That key. I was like, ah! <laughs> I don't know that I've ever seen a crystal key quite so big. It was amazing. Can you give us two thumbs up so it's like balloons or? <laughs> oh, yeah. Let me. Got, hey, everyone who is watching me this Monday, right? We had balloons show up. I figured out why. But I'm going to do two thumbs up for TGBE right now. <laughs> I love it. I, love it. Uh, I guess it's there is so a funny. new thing called a reaction. And apparently I do this a lot because you get balloons, balloons. balloons kept happening. And if you do that, <laughs> balloons show up. <laughs> so funny. Okay, we've got a great show for you planned today. We have our snowy day design kit. I'll be opening it here in a few minutes. It is sold out, unfortunately. Uh, but we do have some parts and pieces from it still available. Some of the more special parts and pieces. Quite a few. Small quantities. Yeah. On our website. So I have those to show you as well. So you can see what you can still buy. Also, we've got our new Valentine Love Note uh, mix. It is a mystery on the website, but I am going to open it today. So I hope I'm not spoiling anyone's mystery, um, but uh, we won't be posting any pictures of the full fit, full set for everybody outside of TGBE. Um, so I'm going to use you it all today. get a special sneak peek for special being here with us. TGBE. Yeah, and I'm going to be making a an illusion style necklace. I picked out some parts from my good friend Cynthia at Green Girl Studio uh, that I want to add into it. These are not available on the Softbox Company website, but I'm urging you to look through your own components and parts that you have on hand or go to Green Girl Studios and pick up some new parts from them. Um, Cynthia has been near and dear to my heart. She lost someone very close to her recently. I've been thinking about her a lot. And so I wanted to spend a little bit of time with her today uh, from afar uh, using some of her components. Um, and that's one thing I wanted to just quickly mention. Over the four years, I think we're on three or four years of TGBE, the presenters have moved their businesses. The presenters have lost loved ones, been sick, had loved ones who are sick, which I have right now. Um, we've had a baby. Kay just had a baby. We've had these huge monumental, people have moved to different states yeah. or yeah. huge moves to different cities and still somehow managed to do TGBE yeah. four yeah. times a year. Um, it's such a beautiful wonderful thing that all of the presenters do um, quarterly through TGBE. And even when they're having these big life things happening, uh, they still show up um, yeah. and work together. And we're just a really fantastic tight knit community. And um, so please, please support all the presenters 
throughout the weekend, our guest presenters, as well as our regular everyday presenters, uh, everybody puts a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into TGBE. And um, especially Cynthia, she's on my mind right now. Make sure you buy something from Green Girl Studios this weekend and uh, and keep you know supporting all of us so we can keep coming back and doing all of this in the future too. Yeah. Okay. It's wonderful. And I just need to add some hearts <laughs> for that because it really is. I mean, so like Sarah said, so many of the presenters have gone through some major, major life changes throughout We're the course are. of this and still right. are. Yeah. Mm. And um, and we all just really love to come together and show up for each other and show up for all of you. And so thank you. Thank you. Thank you for supporting all of us and being here. And um, yeah, this much and love we, for this weekend. We feel so lucky to be a part of it. You know, we really feel very blessed and we're, we feel blessed that all of you are here and part of this community as well, um, because it really wouldn't be the same without everybody being involved, all of you out there, and then all of us here in the presenter seat as well. Yeah. So thank you for being here. Thank you for showing up and try to show up all weekend or watch the replays early in the week um, to get all the good deals and giveaways. Speaking of giveaway. Yeah, let me giveaway. get it up. We do. I didn't post it up yet. Um, let me get that banner going. There we go. We will be giving away our latest design kit. It is the love, look at how cute. So cute. So you all love bug design kit. Do you remember those little love bugs when you were little? Joyce, as soon as we were doing this kit, she was like, I'm going to make a love bug for everyone. And she did. She made hundreds of love bugs. <laughs> Thank They're you. adorable. Um, so the very first Valentine my oldest daughter got was a love bug from a little boy. And it was the cutest little love bug I've ever so seen sweet like a special place in my heart for love bugs <laughs> um we will give that away at the end of the presentation you must be present to win so and you can only enter once um so just put into the comments once hashtag love bug and that will be your entry um to win Kristen will be doing the giveaway so there's no snags as there oh. was last Wednesday when my internet went out <laughs> I'm like well you never know <laughs> But we hope there's there no snacks. wood around here. I mean, really, with my love. I got some. Here. I got some. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for helping me out there, friend. Okay, I'm going to go to my um, little video here. So the great thing to know this week is we have 15% off store-wide. That's off everything that we show you today that is for sale 15% off, no coupon needed. And I believe that's on top of disc already discounted things, right, Kristen? So close out outlet. So uh, I'm just going to pop bundles. that up for a second. But yeah, we that is on top of anything that's already on closeout sale or a bundle sale or even some of our event kits, some of them are on sale. And so that will be on top of that. Um, and in addition, we've got a free gift happening. This is only happening uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday orders. You'll get a free dark pink metallic fire polish bead strand with every order while supplies last. And that is, um, like I said, good until tomorrow. And back to you, Sarah. Okay, I'm gonna open up the Snowy Day Design Kit. We usually sell our kit ahead of time, um, kind of get it out of the way so that you guys can beat along with us. However, you don't need to make the same exact design that we make. You can make whichever design you want. Um, you can uh, mimic what Kristen does, but we encourage you to make lots of different designs from this design kit. And then go join our Softlex Very Important uh, Beating Studio group on Facebook. So join the group and then post pictures of the designs that you make up until February 26th. And that will enter you to win a free kit. And also, it gives you the opportunity to see what all the other designers are making with that same kit. So you can get lots of fun ideas. Take an idea from Kristen and mix it with one of the other ideas in the group and make your own unique design. 
This was a jam pack kit. I've been very excited about this kit. Yeah, with my project today, I mean, I'm only touching upon a very small portion of this kit. So you all have plenty of things to play with. Now, I believe Joyce has one as well, and she is going to be uh, doing a special project I'll talk about uh, a little bit later uh, with this kit too. So um, it, this won't be the only time you'll see this kit on a Softflex video. We'll probably use it uh, several more times uh, in the coming weeks. We go live Monday, Wednesday, Friday now. Um, so there is lots of videos, lots of fun tutorials to check out uh, on our Softflex Company YouTube channel. Okay, so this kit has a huge mix of crystals from our friend Kay at Bedoria, who just had a baby. We wanted to include her in our TGBE since she can't be here this weekend. So we put a mix of her crystals in our kit and they are so pretty. And it's a big mix. I don't even think I can hold it in one hand. Oh, just barely, just barely. How pretty are those? I'll never get them back in that bag. So I gotta get a tray. No, you won't. And there's so many really beautiful shapes too. It's, really, a, it's really so pretty. fun. So we yeah. have, I think we have a bag of these. I don't know if it's quite as large. Is it the same size? I think um, it's the size. It looks like this. Yes. So we put those up online that you can grab some more of these crystals or you can grab these if you missed out on the kit. It is a random assortment of clear grass glass crystals. So that was in the kit. You can buy the uh, half size version on the website. Um, we put some needles and thread in because we included a, a whole um, no vial hole. of <laughs> Miyuki uh, Delica seed beads in like a nice silver color. So this is what Joyce is going to use next Friday morning. She has a show for Southwick's company called Spill the Beads on Friday mornings. And she is going to seed bead weave around... The piece that Kristen's using today for her design, too. It's popular. Look at that. And no. the good news is you can get more of these at softlexcompany.com. So if you want to do my project and Joyce's project, go grab a little package, too. And you can get a pair so you can do earrings if you want to, which is kind of fun. Okay, so those are still available as well. Um, these were my favorite. These were a super duper find. I've been holding on to these for months for this kit. They are ceramic beads, but they're just so special. There's something about them that just lights my heart up. They're so cute. They're really sweet. They have, they have a very handmade sweetness to them. So the um, theme for this, this kit is Snowy Day, the book. I don't know if many of you have read it out there, but... It has like a really, um, almost like a 70s vibe to it. Kind of an orange, a little bit of an orange and maybe some blue and white. Anyway, when I saw these beads, I was like, that's snowy day. That's it right there. So I was <laughs> so really cute. excited that we could get those. Also a pair of beautiful ice skates. So cute. A pair of adorable snowmen. a pair of little red mittens to keep your hands warm. And then we have some basic findings in here as well. We have two pairs of ear wires and one clasp. We try with all of our kits to have everything you need to make jewelry. So we include crimps. We include at least one clasp, if not more than one, and also some earring findings. So you can make at least a couple of designs with nothing but what's in our kit. And then you can kind of uh, restock on the findings to make much, much more. You get a whole 10 foot spool of softlex beading wire in the kit. And this is our medium white quartz color. Uh, this is the 49 strand high quality beading wire and you get a whole 10 feet. So that's gonna make a lot of jewelry designs. 
And then a 22 gauge non-tarnished silver plated Suffolk's craft wire. So this is the wire that you're gonna bend and shape. This is what Kristen will use today to do some wire wrapping. Um, and then last but not least, these beautiful ceramic beads look like little snowballs and they had to go in this kit. Yeah, so, so I'm really cute. We had those as well. I hope everyone who got the kit was really pleased to see the variety of items in the kit. There's like a lot of variety in this particular kit. And, and you can you can still get those ceramic white beads and you can also get those snowmen. So if you did miss the kits, you can grab those um, at softlexcompany.com. You can get the silver thread, you can get the seed beads, the wire, the needles, pretty much everything except for a few, even maybe the mittens. Yeah, the mittens come in, and I think we have some of those too. Yeah. So lots and lots of stuff still available. If you missed out on the kit, go shop at softlexcompany.com and you're going to get 15% off. So that's also kind of a bonus. So that is what Kristen will be using today. We will flip over to her in just a minute. She's going to show us how to wire up that snowflake uh, cabochon. I am going to unwrap my beads I think my groceries just arrived downstairs <laughs> <laughs> my mom's down there it's not like no one's there but <laughs> right <laughs> I like, oh yeah I did order groceries probably not probably shouldn't have planned for it to come during TGBE but oh, okay. here they are um, You're like middle of the day. Sounds perfect. <laughs> great. Why wouldn't it be? Okay, let me um, make some space here on my table. So this is our, our love note. It actually has a real love note in it. I don't have one in mine, um, but we did put a love note to our customers in there um, that I wrote for you. It wasn't the most clever love note but it was heartfelt all the same is very sweet <laughs> i hope i hope you guys enjoy it when you receive it and and um know it's from my heart so this is what comes in that uh little bag of mystery and i am thinking about making a design um using all these lovely parts and pieces. So I was thinking about using this heart as my middle of my necklace, as my clasp. Oh, it's and so, so pretty. Start out, I'm just gonna grab a nice long length of garnet colored softlex beading wire. And I'm gonna go around my neck generously twice because I'm gonna double it up. So how long is that? I'm going to I'm going to generously use 5 feet of it. So I have more than enough because it's kind of a pain when you don't have enough. And then whatever I have left, I can make into earrings or use for some other uh, sort of project. So I'm going to take that wire, grab a crimp tube. In this case, I'll grab a sterling silver softlux crimp tube. And I am going to center my heart. And I'm going to get going and then we're going to flip over to Kristen because mine is going to be kind of repetitive once I get going, I think. I'm going to go ahead and center the heart in the middle of the wire. And then I'm going to bring my soft flex up. Now I could go real tight behind it if I wanted to. And that's probably what I will do so that it sits like that. Um, that probably makes the most sense. So I'm going to straighten out my wires and kind of tug it away from that part and grab my magical crimpers to go ahead and crimp. The first time I crimp, I'll get a little square. Then I'm going to turn it on its side and crimp in those corners. Cynthia is asking, can you get the heart and the leaves from Softlex? Um, no, those are from Green Girl Studios. So go check yes. out greengirlstudios.com and see what they have over there. And if they don't have this exact heart available, they have tons of really cool buttons that yeah, work they do. for clasps. So pick a different one. 
please support Cynthia at Green Girl Studios. Um, you know, she just has had my heart these last few weeks. She's had some a few people pass that were really important to her. Um, and I just love her dearly. So make sure you're supporting her little business. It's hard when life happens. And I can attest to this, especially recently, when life happens and um, you are an owner or a manager of a small business, it's really hard because you have to keep going. You can't just stop working. You know, like there's no, there's no, um, I don't know, even know how to say it. There's just no, no way to stop. Right. Uh, you're, you're the person, you know. And um, it can it can be really challenging. I'm not sure. I saw. I didn't realize those ones were pink. I have pink and white in here, so I'm gonna have to look closely. I want some white ones to start. I think there we go. So what I'm gonna do, and uh, this won't take too long. I'll probably be done by the time Kristen's done with her project. I am going to make little sections. So I'm going to, I'm not going to think a lot about um, what beads I'm using. I probably won't create a pattern exactly other than, um, you know, mixing up the colors and making shapes <laughs> that kind of work together, but I'm going to make little bundles all the way up the necklace. And, um, and I'm going to bundle them by using a crimp. So every so often, I'm going to take both wires through another sterling silver crimp tube. We have someone watching that's never seen the magical crimping pliers before. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you are, um, you are, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah. That's great. Okay, so I use them all the time. That's why I say that. Um, they're really fantastic. They take that crimp tube and make it a round bead, which is a lot of fun. Okay, so now I'm going to crimp again and make that little bundle. And what's fun about this is you can use any color of Softlex beading wire. And you get to kind of expose that wire as part of the design. It makes a little bit of a thicker um, design than if you were just stringing one strand of beads. And it just adds like a little bit of, I don't know, mystery and intrigue to your design. And then I'm just going to keep doing that. I'm going to make little bundles all the way around to the other side. And then when I get to the other side, I will show you. I'm going to make a loop. And that loop is what is going to connect to this heart. And then below it. My plan is to make a dangle using this butterfly. Those of you that know me well know that the butterfly sort of signifies love for me. When I got engaged to my husband, we were like in a field of butter of these beautiful ladybugs uh, that were migrating. And so I thought it would be super fun to have that on this piece, maybe below that heart. Um, so I'll play around with how I'm going to finish that off, but it's going to have that nice little dangle hanging off of it too. What do you think, Kristen? I love it. So cute. I think it's well, looking I, great. I'll keep working and let's flash over to you since we're so limited on time. I want to make sure there's plenty of time to see that beautiful cabochon that you're planning to Awesome. I know oh, I got a little nervous. I started, um, I just started with my first little wrap just to, cause you know, timing is nervous. always a little. <laughs> so, um, Tina, you, you should use good quality crimp tubes always. I don't know where your crimp tubes came from, but ours are very thick and strong. So if you're having problems with crimps, make sure you have a good quality crimp tube, but yes, you can use any crimp tube that is good quality. Awesome. And okay, so we're going to take that sweet little cabochon and we're going to wire wrap it. I made a wire cage to go around it. And this is what we're going to do together. And you don't have to limit it to just cabochons. I used the same technique after I did this one. And I worked on this donut. And then I ended up trying it 
um, on a free form shape too. So it's a really great beginner um, wire cage project to kind of get you going. And then you can kind of try it out on all different types of items. And I'm a little nervous because I've never done anything like this before. But I like I've showed you there, I've been practicing. I think I've done four of them now this week so that I can feel um, pretty good about it <laughs> <laughs> by the time we got started and remember the steps. <laughs> So the first step is to cut yourself some of our craft wire. I'm using the craft wire that was in the kit, but you can also grab this at softlexcompany.com. It is our softlex craft wire, non-tarnished silver, silver plated in 22 gauge. And you can obviously do this in other, other tones as well. But this is the one I'm working with today. Um, and sometimes you can do this with different gauges, like a thicker gauge on the outside and a thinner gauge on the inside. But since 22 is a nice kind of in the middle gauge, it worked for both the outside and the inside. Thank you, Wanda. I got this. <laughs> you got this. Yeah. So first you're going to cut your um, craft wire into three eight inch sections, which is what I have here. And I used my nylon jaw pliers to straighten them out, make them nice and smooth. And then while we were talking in the beginning, I was also just running my fingers along them. So if you don't have those pliers, you can kind of do that for a little while and soften the wire and get it um, warmed up. And the other thing to note is we need three eight inches three strands of eight inches and three strands of three inches. These will be our little wrapping wires. So I went ahead and wrapped my first little bundle here and I did it right in the center. So that's around the four inch mark. And you'll see that my wire is kind of in a um, circular shape already. So I'm just going to go with that shape. I'm going to let that be the inside. And I have my wire ends on this part here. So it will fit on the inside of my cabochon. And I'll show you how to wrap those bundles two more times. So just hang tight for that. Right now, I'm just going to line up the little bundle on the bottom center. And then I'm just going to take these three wires and just gently kind of go around that circular shape. We're gonna do this a few more times, so this isn't like the be all end all, but it kind of gets it going. And then you can pick it up and work it out with your fingers a little bit too. And I do wanna just check that my wires are laying nice and parallel, and if they're not, just make them make them behave like that kind of pull them in your fingers and make them behave nice and parallel so i'm going to pick up another one of my little three inch wrappers and i'm going to go on the side here and i'm just going to pick i'm just going to eye it up and pick a little section I'm going to grab it and have about an inch three quarters of an inch on one side and hold it with my thumb. And then I'm gonna take the longer side to wrap around those three wires, making sure to keep them parallel. You don't wanna pull this so tight that your wires start to scrunch up in like a little bouquet. You want to make sure that they stay nice and straight. And I'm gonna go around about five times. You can do more if you want to. But since it's a small cabochon, I feel like five was good. I did do a little bit more on my larger freeform piece. And then we're gonna go ahead and make sure that both of my ends are coming to the inside of my, of my shape like that. This way they don't get stuck on anything and they got to be on the inside of my piece. Now I'm gonna trim off that wire and tuck those little end pieces down. 
on the inside here. I've always wanted to learn how to do this. I love that these events kind of push us to try new things. And so now that I've got it cinched down, you can see that there's a little bit of space. So I'm just going to go ahead and go from the top and the bottom and give it a little scooch, tighten it up. And then I haven't really crimped it yet, quote unquote. Um, so I'm, you can move it down or up if you feel like you need to at this point. And then once I'm happy with its location, I'm going to do what I'm calling a crimp. I'm just going to put that little coil all the way into my chain nose plier. I'm going to go kind of back to the back so it's got a good handle on it and squeeze it. And then I'm gonna flip it and do the same thing on the other side, just so that it's nice and straight. And now that should be pretty good on my wire and not gonna move. And if you need to do the up and down thing, one more time. Yes, Mike is saying half round is good for the wraps also. We're using round, but when I was doing this project, I was like, oh, this is a good half round project um, because I had never used that that one before. And we do have some half round at softlexcompany.com that you can grab. What that does is has a flatter side on one side. So I'm going to take my other little wrap and go ahead and go on the opposite side of the one I just did and do the same thing. And you could step down a gauge if you want to on these wraps, which would make it a little bit softer and more malleable. But the 22 worked really well. And then once I'm done, again, just kind of point my ends to the inside of my shape. I'm gonna scooch this one up a little bit, straighten that out. And I'm going a little quick, but I will say that wire wrapping is really great when you take your time because it just, it just likes to be handled delicately. <laughs> and sometimes when you go a little too quick, that's when you can make some mistakes, so. That's one thing that I learned from our friend James that used to do our craft wire videos is that patience, patience, mm, grasshopper. That's my word of the year. Is it? Oh, oh yeah. It's a good one. <laughs> it's something I desperately need this year. <laughs> oh. I remember one year I used the word presence and that's kind of like patience in a way because it kind of would remind me to just like take a deep breath, come back to the mm -hmm. present moment and like, yeah, be, you know, be okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So now that I've got all of my little ends on here, my little sides, I'm going to go ahead and go around my cabochon again. And now I'm gonna hold my cabochon up. I'm gonna grab the wire on this side that's in the front. Let's see which one that is. Oh no, I have one more step first before I do that. Ha ha ha. I remembered before I went too far. Okay, so now I'm gonna make <laughs> I love that. <laughs> now I'm going to make this little divot down here. So you see on this one how there's like a little divot. We're going to do that with the front wire and then we're going to do that with the back wire. So just the middle wire will be left going around. So I'm going to go about halfway between my two little coils. 
and I'm going to grab a hold of that wire and I'm going to just pull it up just like that. So it's making like a little wave. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. If you do have tool magic, it's great to do this project with some tool magic on your tools or some tape or something just to kind of be um, sensitive with the wire. So now I'm going to flip it and do the same thing on the back side. I'm going to grab the wire that's on the back here and divot it up, trying to get it around the same spot, but it is front and back. So it's okay if it's a little off. Do the same thing over here. And now you'll see like there's like the little start of our, of our cage happening. So now I'm gonna take my pliers and just open up Open that up so that the cabochon can sit right inside there. You guys with me so far? I'm with you. Cool. And now you can see how that sort of sits right in that little cage. So now at this point, we'll grab the front wire on the left side and we're just gonna tweak it down over to the right. And then we're gonna grab the front wire on the right side back here and move it to the front. A lot of love this idea, love this technique happening. Ooh, fun. I'm telling you, this is different for me. That we have almost 98 likes on this video. Thank you, everybody. Please keep liking it. Awesome. And then I'm see how I've got the front wire from the left going over, the front wire from the right going over. I'm going to turn it around and do the same thing here. So I'm going to take that front wire on the left, and then I'm gonna grab this one, which is on the right. And then I'm left with these two in the center that are crisscrossing. So I'm just gonna grab those two in the center and pull them into the middle. And then with my chain nose pliers, I'm gonna pop them up so they're going straight up and down. So you've got these two at the top. Those would be the ones we're going to use for our bail. And then we've got these here and these here to work out. So next I'm going to grab a hold of my sides and I'm going to make a divot on each of these to mirror this. So I'm basically just going to grab that one in the front and I'm going to twist it up like so so it's pointing up like my other one and then i'm going to do the same thing on the other side grab it and point it up and we're so glad you're here thanks for joining us for the first time woohoo welcome in I'm going to spin it around to the back and I'm going to do the same thing on these two wires on the back. I'm just going to grab my chain nose pliers and point that one up and then the other one, point that, that one up. So now that all my wires are facing up, just like so. So here's my front, here's my back. I'm gonna take one of these wires from the back. One of the ones that are right on the, that I did the little divot on. And I'm gonna use it as my wire to wrap all around the rest. So take it from the back, catch all the other wires and wrap it around. And you could do that a couple of times, two or three times, just like that. Now it looks like it has a ponytail. I'm gonna trim that wire off and tuck it in the back. 
I'm gonna come to the front again and I'm gonna grab the wire that's on the left, the closest to the left, bend it that way. The wire that's the closest to the right, bend it that way. I'm gonna flip to the back and the wire that's closest to the back, I'm gonna bend back that way. And now this one's just sort of an extra wire. We don't really need it. So I'm gonna trim it close to my cabochon, but leaving a little bit of wire so that I could tuck it under and it doesn't get snagged on anything. I still have these two going up for my bail. We're gonna do that next. This is actually the part where I need a little more practice in trying to come up with some ideas because I don't love my bail, but uh, we're gonna go with it for today. We're gonna make a little twist. I feel like this is where I can do a little more, a little more learning. So I'm just gonna take these two and I'm gonna twist them up. I feel like we're channeling our inner um, K Goss from Bidoria today. We totally are. Because there's so much, there's so much K in this kit. She totally uh, I know. And then I'm using all these crystals and like I just feel like we have somehow we're like, she's not here, so we have to partially be her. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna bring the K's energy to the show. <laughs> <laughs> of course, our energy level is would never be able to reach. Oh, energy. yeah. Kay is just in our own league with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're almost done. Home stretch here. Home stretch. So we're going to go ahead. And now that I've got a little bit of twisted wire, um, I'm going to pull it kind of forward. Put it on my round nose pliers. And then make that loop, right? Now this wire's in the front, I'm gonna move it out of the way and pull it to the back. And then I'm gonna let myself um, grab a hold of this twisted little bale and go around with a nice wire wrap, maybe one full There we go, all the way. So it's nice and stable. Trim off the edge and tuck this in. And then my last step, you could end it here. Straighten that guy out a little bit. But my last step was making a little spiral to kind of cover up um, and add a little extra something to the bottom of that bale. So to add our spirals, we'll go and we'll make a little tiny loop on each side of this piece that's left. And how big your spiral is will basically determine how much wire you have left and how big your spiral becomes. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want a little tiny spiral, just have less wire. If you want a really big spiral, you'll have more wire. Give yourself that little loop. Place your loop into your chain nose pliers um, right where that loop kind of ends. I've got it sitting right in there. And then you just fold your wire up. And then you just keep doing that until you see how that spiral is forming. So just keep opening it, fold that wire up. And then Sarah, if you want to go back to you, I can just show how where I put the spirals kind of later. Okay. I think we got a good amount of time, but sure, I'm okay. Woohoo! So, <laughs> I got this far <laughs> in my design. Um, I'm probably about halfway, but I went ahead and designed the bottom 
And then I can always finish this and post pictures into the TGBE group and on the Instagram page after as well. So I've got my, I'd say this is probably the center. Let me do it like that. This is probably my centerpiece. And now I'm coming back around to repeat on my That design. looks so pretty. It's really fun because the mix has like a light pink, a white, or a clear, and then a bunch of really beautiful red. Um, so I really, really love the beads. There's a wide assortment of beads too. These little hearts are faceted and they're so pretty. And then I really, really love the drops too that are in there. Um, so great little mix of beads. I um, am going to go ahead and make a little tassel pendant off my heart button down here. So let me get a fresh piece of wire. And I can kind of do the same thing where I double up the wire and work from the bottom up. So this is what I'm thinking about doing, I think. I wanted to do a red heart, a little pink crystal, and then one of those beautiful clear drops. So I'm gonna take my beautiful ladybug. This is, again is from Green Girl Studios. Softlux Company does not sell these, um, but Green Girl Studios has tons of fantastic charms on their website. And I'm sure many of you have um, charms in your stash already that would work. But if you can support Green Girl Studios this weekend, I really appreciate it. Get the crystals from us, then go check out uh, Cynthia's website and see what she has that would work well um, for you. And uh, her parts are magical. She took they a lot are. Magic. And, you know, if you like to um, add a little paint to your components, like Cynthia's components, you can grab that mm -hmm. from us, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay, so now I can just go through all of these beads. And I didn't need to double strand, but, you know, little pendants sometimes like this, I will tend to kind of pull on them. This is sort of a little worry stone. If it's like dented just right for my thumb. So I know myself and I will probably be doing this a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so that little addition of wire is probably really good for me um, to make it strong. So that'll be my little piece that I'm going to hang off the back of here. I'm going to go ahead and grab a crimp again. If you wanted to add some little metal components in there, I bet that would be pretty like a little uh, Bali silver bead would look good. I'm just going to leave it like this. And then I'm just going to split the wires and take one of them. And I'm going to attach at the bottom of my button. This is going to help um, hold that button in place so that it stays in that pretty heart shape when I'm using it as a clasp. It's going to give it weight which is going to be super helpful. Um, and then I can kind of play around with how long do I want this to be? Do I want that to come up like right behind it? Do I want it a little bit tighter so that it slips over the top of that crystal? You know, you can kind of play around with it. Maybe you want to bring it down well below that heart. Um, you know, that's totally up to you, whatever size you think is going to work for your design. And then you're just going to come in and crimp again, using our magical crimpers, get that little four square first, a ravioli shape, and then we're going to go in and compress in. So it looks like a little round bead. I like to go around it a bunch of times, just kind of tightening it down into the nylon coating of the wire. And then I can just trim, trim, trim right up to that crimp tube. And I've got a really nice little dangle from my button closure. So I will continue working on my piece and uh, post a picture of it. But um, basically, I'm going to just be repeating. And then at the very tail end, I'm going to take both wires 
add a crimp and then I'll probably just take one wire string back into that crimp to make a loop that fits this button just right to connect over the top of it. Ooh, and if you have the snowy day kit with the little Mayuki beads, you can always string those on your little loop too. Yeah, you totally could. Yep. So you want to make a loop that's not so big that it's going to just slide off there real easily. So make it tight enough, but also not so tight that you can't fit your button through it. So that's kind of the tricky part uh, with that ending. But I know you can do it if you want to make something similar. You are totally capable. I'm going to keep working over here. Um, Kristen, did you want to show something else on your design? Yeah, I can actually. I've been a uh, head back that. over. Head back over. All right. I have been sitting here and making some little um, connections with these crystals and those ceramic beads. So a couple of things I want to show. I didn't um, place my spirals anywhere yet because I wanted to share that with you. So that's after I finish spiraling them. They're just on there like that. And it doesn't matter if they're going uh, one way or the other because what I'm going to do is just slide it over the center. And now I've got a cute little spiral right on the front and then slide this one over the back. And it nicely also covers up all of that wire work happening and all those little pieces so it makes it nice and smooth and you've got a little spiral on both sides and then what i did is i originally did my bail in this configuration kind of front to back like that but i decided to switch it left to right i just took my chain nose pliers, grabbed it and turned it. This way I can add some craft wire chain going up the sides. So I did a simple link and then a wrapped link on, on the thicker ones. So these all have a double wrapped link. I've got that ceramic bead in the center and then two of those crystals on either side. And then I used this beautiful shape. I think these are so pretty as a simple connection. I think I had four of those in my baggie. And then I also had four of these. So I just made one of that too. So we'll make another one of those together. So I'll just make a simple, a simple connection by taking my round nose pliers making a nice little loop. I take my chain nose pliers and just straighten that out. So you make an eye pin, slide on your crystal, then you're gonna grab a hold of your wire and turn it 90 degrees. Make another little loop. And if I wanted to wrap it, I would just wrap this all the way around. But I decided to just do um, simple links in between so that I can kind of do it uh, all at once, make a bunch of simple links and then connect these wrapped links here. And then when you're ready, you would open up one of your simple links, connect it to the wrapped one and then close it. And then on the other side, you can add the next one. Oh my gosh, it's so sparkly. <laughs> it's so, so sparkly. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's really pretty. I can't wait to see how it all turns out. Thanks. Yeah, we'll definitely take pictures of what we create and share it with you all in the Great Beat Extravaganza group and our Softlex Facebook group, of course, for the sure. IB Studio. And we can't wait to see what all of you make with these kits, too. Totally. We have added tons of new things to our website over the last few months. I thought I'd give you just like a quick view of some of those things um, that you can find right now. 
Again, everything is 15% off. So I don't know how you beat that. We have these great little coin birds uh, that are in four beautiful colors, the cream, the black. I'm kind of like eyeing this black one. Mm. Really I know I haven't, other than the kit, I haven't had a chance to use them yet. They're really I pretty. They're still there. Neither Kristen nor I have had time to do many tutorials with them. Um, but that doesn't mean they're not fantastic and that you guys shouldn't grab them up while you can because um, they're really, really adorable. We've got some owls in two different colors. I made the cutest pair of snowy um, day a snowy day earrings and they had just some white like four four millimeter fire polish chain coming down from the this really beautiful owl but they're both gorgeous this one has kind of an olive green and copper and this one's sort of a bone color with gold wash they're both really pretty those are on the website uh, these two we also just haven't made anything with them so they've kind of been sitting there uh, for a month or two, but they're really pretty. Um, yeah, they are. Really good find. This they red have... one especially would work so well with that Valentine mix. If you're picking up the Love Note um, bead mix, I would definitely take a look at that red. Even the blue would be, maybe the blue would work really well with the white clear. Crystal. I was thinking that, yep, yeah, because it picks up all the little blue AB on there. That'd be so pretty. So we've got those there. I was looking at these rectangles. We have them in multiple different colors. They're one of my favorite beads. I made a really great memory wire bracelet um, with two of the colors. And, um, but on, I think all the colors are still mostly available on those on the website. And then we have a ton of beautiful Tierra casts still available all 15% off. We've got, I was looking at the uh, eight sign coins. Mm, so um, pretty. We've got those. And then we've got like peace stubs. We've got thistle components. We've got connector components. We've got some fun um, sacred heart buttons. We've got crosses and Buddhas and all sorts of great stuff. So make sure you check out the full website when you go there to see all the different things Go, click on new and you'll see a lot of this stuff is still listed there because it's all pretty new. Um, we just had an art deco kit called Deco the Halls. It was absolutely gorgeous. Totally sold out. Um, was very, very popular. But we added this beautiful check glass moth bead um, to go along with the kit. We have a few of those left. This was from that kit. Uh, these great long rectangles this beautiful set of check glass fans. You can find all those on the website as well as those snowflake cabochons and great clear crystals that uh, Kristen was just working with. Right after us is uh, Neele. He's gonna do his silver silk presentation. And then after that is our trend report for 2024. And one of the trends is boho chic. Mm -hmm. and I think this section here, you cannot get like more boho chic. Um, these beads come in lots of different great colors that are great for Valentine's Day. And I was watching um, Miss Candy Cooper this morning using her leather cord and knotting. And you need a pretty big whole bead to do those kinds of designs. And these are perfect. You could pair these with a lot of the things that Candy's making. They come in many different colors. Um, the white was in the snowy day kit, but look at all the fun, like kind of valentine -y colors. And then th there's so more colors. Juicy. These were just the ones that I grabbed out. Um, oh, I do have a question. What gauge wire did I use? I was using the 22 gauge Softlex craft wire. And it comes from uh, all the way from 16 up to 28 gauge. So yeah. we have lots of gauges and colors. And then uh, last but not least, make sure you check out Love Note. And we have two kits available. We have an upcoming Galentine event. You can find out more about that on our website. We've got the supply kit available. And then, of course, our Love Bug design kit, which we're going to be giving away here in just a minute. So make sure you've got your entry in. 
uh, in the comments, it's hashtag love bug to win. Um, so adorable kit. You guys are going to love it. It's our Valentine kit. I'm opening it at the end of January. So last Wednesday in January, we'll kick off this design challenge. Um, I love Valentine's Day. I'm super excited that we have so many Valentine-y things going on this year. It's uh <laughs> it is gonna be fun. <laughs> Emily, those large hole beads are made of ceramic. They're ceramic beads. They're Peruvian ceramic beads. Yeah. Solid colored ceramic beads. They're actually the same bead maker that made the ice skates and the snowmen. They come from that same bead maker. They're really, really pretty. Great colors. And they've got that big whole bead so you can take your leather cord through oh, twice and knot it. I'm wearing the ones I did on silver silk too with these same beads. Oh. So let me show you all. So these are the white ceramic oh, yeah. beads that we Speaking did. Yeah, that I was able to string right onto the silver silk. Um, so fun. And so you've got all of those colors to play with and of course all of the silver silk colors to play with. Yeah, we had a play date with Mile. And I did this piece, which had that piece stub at the bottom, and then a couple of those beautiful boho check glass buttons. And then look at Nile's amazing, um, I think it's called capture chain at the top. So easy and fun to use. And he's got these new findings that make it even easier than before. So I can't wait to see what he's gonna do next. He is up next. Let's go here. Uh, Kristen, are you ready for our giveaway? I am. Uh, someone was asking what size they are. They're 10 millimeter are the size of those uh, ceramic beads. All right, mm -hmm. let's see. We've got 271 entries. Whoa. So exciting. Thank you to everybody who's been watching. I've been watching. There's about 400 people watching right now for TGBE. We're so happy that you're here. Oh, my gosh. All right. Let's do it. Let's mm -hmm. see who our big winner is for the love book. When you're chosen, make sure you comment to let us know that you're here so that you can claim your prize. You're going to email info at softlexcompany.com. Uh, after to let them know you won the love bug design kit christine wilson on facebook are you here christine let us damien, know in the comments hopefully. damien thank you for being here in the background he is the man behind the scenes today making everything run smoothly i see a congratulations popped up on the screen but i don't see we're looking for christine wilson, wilson. Christine Wilson. Um, thank you to everybody for spending a little bit of time with us today. Uh, we so appreciate you. All the fun things that we showed are available at softlixcompany.com. 15% off the entire website this week. No coupon code needed. And um, free shipping on orders over 65. And every single order gets a free strand of some beautiful metallic -y, uh, pink um yeah, they're beautiful. Fire polish beads. They're really pretty. Perfect for upcoming Valentine's Day. It's a little way for us to thank you for just placing an order um, over this TGBE weekend. Thank Dam you. I'm thinking Damien might have seen her name um, and tried to grab it, but ended up grabbing someone else. Is that? He says no. Oh, he says no. Okay. The comments do come in so quickly. It is kind of. I know. I they're see. they're moving quick. So <laughs> let's give it a minute. If not, we can always give away another one. I we've know. got a few extra leeway minutes that we've built in here, so that helps keep things running smoothly. Um, up next is going to be our good friend, Neelay Patel of Silver Silk. And then Kristen, are you coming back for the trend report? I will. Yeah. I'm going to be back with the trend report. I can't wait. That's going to be if fun. Everything's running smoothly in my house and I finally get my children dressed. I will think about coming back. <laughs> oh, close schmoes. <laughs> I mean, it's on 
almost dinner. Just stay in your pajamas. Just change into That's new pajamas it. before bed, right? Yeah. Like I've done that. <laughs> I've totally done that. I was like, okay, I'm going to get out of these PJs and I'm going to get into I'm new put PJs on some for, new bedtime. <laughs> for bedtime. <laughs> I don't, I don't see her yet. So I think it's, I think we're going to go ahead and pull another name here. All right. Um, Worst case scenario, we will give away two kits and it'll be okay. All right. Here we go. I really support an all day pajama day. <laughs> <laughs> pajama days are the best. Yes, they, they are. really are. Geraldine, Geraldine Smith. Smith on YouTube. Please <laughs> check in and let us know you're here so that we can give you your prize. I always like to make sure you're here so that you win. Because if somebody walks away and they don't, then it's like I haven't even given anything away. And right. it feels feels like I spent a whole hour talking about giving something that I'm not even ready to actually give away. Um, someone asked what I'm using on the end caps for the earrings. And Nile has these new little just caps that slide on to the pipe chain. And that's what I use. Mm -hmm. So you can get them at Silver Silk um, and more. I feel like com. it's Silver Silk and more online.com. Silver, silver Silk online.com. <laughs> we don't know. Watch Nile's. <laughs> Right and get the real deal for his uh his address um still not robin oh, says she's I'm still here. here i seen i'm here for facebook user oh i wonder if that's uh I wonder for the if i'm here good. can you please state your name um <laughs> and let us know <laughs> <laughs> that's funny <laughs> Oh, I, I've seen a lot of I'm here. Someone is saying, yes, Geraldine is here. Okay. Oh, Geraldine responded. Okay. okay so well, we either, of you, her. either of the winners, if you're here, go ahead and email info at softbookscompany.com. We will get you a love bug design kit. Um, thank you, everybody, for being here with us today. Do you want to take the um, presenter screen down? Yeah. Kristen? We will post pictures of our designs after. Look for those. Make sure you're following Softflex Company on Instagram to see all of our beautiful designs that we make. Please watch Kristen on Mondays. Maybe not this Monday. You take yeah. Care. I'm actually going to be there this Monday because I'm oh. going on vacation on Friday. So I oh, figured okay. I might as well be here on Monday. So free so, spirit beating at what time on Mondays? At 1 p.m. Pacific time is when you can find me um, every Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific time. And then we've got Sarah on Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Pacific. Pacific. And then our good friend Joyce is on Friday mornings at 9.30 a.m. Pacific. Yeah. All of that happens on our Softflex Company YouTube channel and Facebook page. And then you can see pictures of what we make after as well. I'm seeing <laughs> puffy heart requests. <laughs> I saw pu puffy hearts happening here. Um, Thank you for all of the likes and shares on this video. And we hope you're having the best TGBE weekend ever. We're going to kick it over to our friend Neela Patel. And we'll both see you later at the Trend Report, um, which Neela is also hosting. Yes. Wow. What do you have there? Well, this is one of our like Amazonite slabs that um, we had in, in, a, looking. in a live sale. And I used that same technique I did today on this teeny tiny cabochon on this one. So mm. you can kind of adjust it to all sorts of different things. Ooh. Isn't that fun? She's going to show us more about that at Trend Report. Yeah, on Monday, actually. I'll probably share it again oh, cool. on Monday or look at this kid again one more time with you all. So see you awesome. then. Happy right. TGBE. Bye, <laughs> Have a happy midwinter market. We love you. Do you want to do any balloons or fireworks? Oh, I <laughs> <laughs> Always. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs>